Hello students, so in the previous class we started with uh, bifurcation theory and uh, we covered one or two examples um, and gave a motivation that if you have an equation involving a parameter then um, how does the bif bifurcation point occurs and what do we actually mean by the bifurcation. So we will continue the discussion, today I will start with a one dimensional bifurcation and uh, then we will um, move on to some examples, I will present maybe um, one or two results or theorems and uh, then slowly we will uh, proceed towards um, uh, Hoff bifurcation. Alright, so let us start the discussion. So what do you mean by this um, uh, one dimensional, one dimensional bifurcation for scalar equation, for scalar equations, right. So, we uh, uh, remember the equation was x dot uh, equals to f of x comma mu. Let us call this as equation number 1. So, this is more or less our reference equation, most of the time we will refer to this equation. So, we discussed uh, um, several types of bifurcation uh, for this uh, scalar type of equation, right. Um, by uh, basically, so uh, by investigating those uh, curves, right. So, wherever we are having this equilibrium points and all that. So, from based on that we learnt about uh, whether there is a um, uh, bifurcation at, um, um, at one point or if you have two points, which point uh, we have the bifurcation, which point we have uh, stability and um, asymptotic stability and all that. So, the, those things we did in the previous class. So, now, um, whatever figures we also got, they are called as bifurcation figures or bifurcation diagrams, right. So, bifurcation points, bifurcation diagrams and all those things, okay. Now, let uh, we still have a scalar equation, let x0 mu uh, be the or be an equilibrium, 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 uh, point or equilibrium of uh, equation 1, right, equation 1. So, for n equals to 1, that means uh, the dimension is 1, uh, the linearization, the linearization uh, coefficient matrix, that means uh, coefficient matrix. So, in case of uh, 2 by 2, we know that we can write x dot equals to a of x. Um, in case of um, one dimensional, it is it will be just a function. So, the coefficient matrix a uh, mu will be simply our f of x uh, x 0 mu comma mu, right. And uh, then the then uh, is, is scalar basically, uh, the coefficient matrix, uh, the linearization coefficient matrix A mu is uh, scalar and hence uh, has uh, only one eigenvalue uh, hence, uh, and hence has only one eigenvalue, okay we denote lambda mu is equals to f of x, x 0 mu comma mu, then the stability, the stability of the equilibrium, equilibrium, equilibrium x0 mu is determined by the sign of lambda mu. This we know from very standard, right. Uh, so, depending upon whether f dash x is positive or f dash x is negative, you will get the stable or unstable solution. This we have already addressed uh, many classes ago. So, here we have an equation x dot equals to f x mu and uh, from there we can uh, determine this uh, um, coefficient matrix A, 
right. So, if you have a 2 by 2 matrix then a 2 by 2 system uh, sorry uh, a system of 2 equations uh, then basically this A will become a matrix. Um, so, the way it, it will involve some derivative of the function f uh, f 1 and f 2. Um, but if you have a scalar equation then in that case uh, you just care about the derivative and uh, based on the derivative whether um, f dash x is uh, positive or negative around the point x 0 uh, mu you will actually get the stable or unstable solution. So, this we this result we have already addressed right. Therefore, uh, determined by this therefore, so that means a particular property is dependent upon the sign of f dash x at the point x 0 mu. So, therefore, um, if uh, uh, bifurcation bifurcation occurs at mu is equals to mu 0 then lambda mu 0 must be 0. That means, if there is a buffer bifurcation. So, at that point we have seen in the previous example at that point lambda mu 0 or f dash uh, this uh, f of x uh, x 0 mu at uh, mu is equals to mu 0 must be 0 right. So, uh, to see uh, to see the possible types of bifurcation diagrams for scalar equation equations we consider following example we consider following example ok. Uh, so, what is that? So, example 1 uh, let us take um, x dot equals to mu minus x to the power 2 m where m belongs to set of all natural number. So, now um, call it as equation number 1. So, for um, bifurcation bifurcation um, we see that we see that mu is equals to 0 is the bifurcation value ok and uh, equation 1 has no equilibrium point, no equilibrium point if mu is less than 0. Um, because what will happen is if mu is less than 0, then when you make x dot equals to 0, when you are trying to get the equilibrium point, it will become x to the power 2 m is equals to a negative quantity right. So, whatever x to the power whatever m is uh, your x to the power 2 m is always an even power. So, when you are taking the uh, square root uh, in a way so it will become minus of something. So, that is not giving you a real value right. So, therefore, there is no equilibrium point if mu is less than 0. So, this possibility is uh, ruled out and exactly exactly one equilibrium point exactly one equilibrium point when x 1 0 equals to 0 uh, that is when uh, mu equals to 0 right. So, it has only one equilibrium point uh, that will only happen when mu is equals to 0 because you have x to the power 2 m. So, whenever you are taking the so let us say if mu is positive. So, then in that case you will have x to the power 2 m equals to some positive quantity when you are taking the square root. Um, then in that case it will give you plus minus value and uh, so at least uh, um, we know that 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 for one equilibrium point uh, the only possibility is to have mu equals to 0 then only you will have x to the power 2 m equals to 0 therefore x equals to 0 right. So, this is when mu is equals to 0 and exactly um, uh, and exactly and exactly uh, two equilibrium points or two equally 
Bria uh, x plus minus mu um, is equal to plus minus mu to the power 1 by 2 m uh, when mu is positive. So, that means when mu is negative we have no equilibrium point, when mu is equal to 0 we have exactly one equilibrium point and when mu is positive then we have uh, at least two equilibrium points given by plus minus mu whole to the power 1 by 2 m and moreover, moreover x minus mu is unstable. Um, unstable uh, and x plus mu is asymptotically stable. Right. Therefore, we will see we will see one graph. Therefore, the bifurcation diagram are as follows. Therefore, the bifurcation and the phase diagram uh, and the phase diagram bifurcation and the phase diagram or phase portrait portraits um, are so basically uh, this is our x um, this is our uh, sorry this is our mu this is our x so basically, um, we have uh, right. So we'll have uh, bifurcation point. That is, uh, when mu is when mu is less than zero, then there is no bifurcation point. When mu is uh, uh, equal to zero and when mu is positive. So, here we have x minus mu and x plus mu, right. So, this particular example tells us that uh, even for the scalar equation, we see that depending upon um, different values of uh, mu, we are getting different uh, bifurcation points uh, and uh, in some cases there is no bifurcation point, in some cases we have only one and we have uh, more than one. So, basically in this diagram as the parameter, so as the parameter mu, as the parameter mu uh, passes through passes through uh, bifurcation bifurcation uh, value as the parameter mu passes through a bifurcation value um, in a direction in a direction the number of equilibria changes from 0 to 2 and uh, and uh, two equilibria created created at the bifurcation value at the at the bifurcation value from a C one form a C one branch of equilibria C one branch of equilibria. Uh, whose stability changes from unstable to asymptotic stable, whose uh, stability changes 
from unstable to asymptotic stable uh, asymptotic asymptotic um, asymptotically stable stable really stable and uh, such a bifurcation are called as saddle node bifurcation so this is called as saddle node bifurcation bifurcation so basically uh, in this example what we are seeing is that uh, if you have a bifurcation point then where is that attained? I mean, what is the value of that bifurcation point? And uh, basically, here we determine that as the parameter mu passes through a bifurcation value in a direction, the number of equilibria changes. So, either it was initially 0, then it went became 1, then it is then uh, 2 and so on. And the two equilibria created um, at the bifurcation value form a C1 uh, branch of equilibria whose uh, stability changes from unstable to asymptotically stable and this is called as saddle uh, node bifurcation right so this uh, we have uh, uh, we have learnt then there can there is one more i mean there are actually many examples i'll write down one more example example 2 so consider uh, x dash equals to f of x comma mu where this is mu x minus x to the power 2n so, it has become a little bit interesting now. Um, x dash equals to mu x minus x to the power uh, 2n, right. So, m is any natural number. So, by letting f of x mu equals to 0. So, if you do f of x mu equals to 0 or x dash, that is how we determine the equilibrium point. So, if you let x dash equals to 0 or f of x mu equals to 0, this will give uh, x to the power 2m minus of mu x equals to 0. So, we will have x outside x to the power 2 m minus 1 minus of mu equals to 0, right. So, we find uh, basically two equilibrium. So, we find we find basically two equilibria um, have two equilibria. First one is x 1 mu is equals to 0 because from here if you equate then either x equals to 0 and x equals x to the power 2 m minus 1 minus mu equals to 0. So, this and another one is uh, mu to the power 1 by 2 m minus 1 right. Okay. So, since f x or f dash x x comma mu which is mu minus um, 2 m times x to the power 2 m minus 1. Uh, we have the following. We have the following. So, first is for x 1 mu equals to 0 lambda 1 mu lambda 1 mu equals to mu. This we have also seen uh, yesterday. So, x 1 mu at 0 equals to uh, at uh, um, x 1 mu equals to 0 then lambda mu equals to mu ok. And uh, it follows that. So, it it follows that uh, x 1 mu is asymp x 1 mu is asymp asymptotically x 1 mu is asymptotically uh, stable for mu less than 0. So, now this is um, one thing there uh, in the previous example we had mu minus uh, x to the power 2 m mu minus x to the power 2 m and we saw that um, for mu less than 0, there was not any stable points, but uh, our, it was simply unstable. But with this example, um, when mu is less than 0, even in that case, uh, we will have asymptotically uh, stable. And 
on the other hand if mu is greater than 0 then it is unstable then it is unstable right if uh, mu is greater than 0 then we have uh, unstable solution okay now uh, suppose um, what happens when we have uh, when we have uh, x2 mu is equals to uh, mu to the power 1 by 2m minus 1. So, we dealt with the case when x1 mu equals to 0. So, from there we can uh, get um, uh, basically lambda mu is equals to mu and uh, from there we can see that uh, x1 mu is actually leading to asymptotically stable solution when uh, mu is um, less than 0 and uh, when lambda uh, when mu is greater than 0 then it is unstable. Now, we will look into this case. So, x2 uh, mu is equals to what? Uh, equals to mu to the power 1 by 2 m minus 1. So, here in this case uh, our lambda 2 mu you, from here it will become uh, minus of 2 m minus 1 uh, into mu. So, thus x2 mu is unstable. Um, is unstable for mu less than 0 and uh, asymptotically, asymptotically uh, stable for mu greater than 0. So, as a result uh, we see that uh, mu is equals to 0 is basically the bifurcation point. So, because at mu is, mu is equals to 0, um, we have uh, the properties are changing basically. So, you have uh, unstable, asymptotically stable. So, as a result, as a result, mu is equals to 0 is a bifurcation value, bifurcation value and uh, the bifurcation diagram and the phase portraits are given below. So, um, we can write the uh, diagram like this. So, basically we have uh, so um, this is x, this is mu and then we have uh, bifurcation points S. Uh, this is uh, the curve uh, S. So, here we have the asymptotic stability and uh, similarly uh, we can draw the bifurcation points. So, basically we will have uh, uh, x 2 mu, this is for x 2 mu then it is again pointing towards uh, the bifurcation point uh, which is um, x 1 mu for mu less than 0. Then we have uh, for mu is equals to 0 that means x 1 mu and uh, for this is mu positive that means x 1 mu x 2 mu right. So, this is in this diagram now we have two C 1 branches right. We have two C 1 branches 1 and 2 we have two C 1 branches of equilibria with opposite stabilities interchange their stability at the bifurcation value. Such a bifurcation is called as uh, transcritical bifurcation right. So, such a bifurcation are called as uh, transcritical bifurcation. So, here we have uh, um, a C 1 branch basically uh, for uh, two uh, bifurcation uh, and uh, uh, we have basically um, uh, stability um, along this curve. So, basically uh, this type of um, uh, bifurcation is called as transcritical. So, trans critical bifurcation, bifurcation. 
right so this is called as transcritical bifurcation okay uh, like this uh, we can have other examples so for I, I will not derive anything now but uh, i would like to give one more example so x dash uh, equals to uh, f of x comma mu which is uh, mu x minus x to the power 2m plus 1 here uh, m is again natural number so here also you can try to determine where the equilibrium is attained and uh, based on which uh, if the equilibrium attained then what happens around that point whether we have a stable or unstable solution if we have a unstable and st asymptotic stable situation then what is happening to the bifurcation value at which point it is attained those things can be derived uh, for this uh, equation also um, we can also consider an equation of this type and see whether such kind of uh, study is possible or not uh, f of x comma mu plus um, x to the power 2m plus 1, right. So, x dash equals to fx, fx uh, comma mu, mu x, uh, uh, nee, fx comma mu equals to x to the power 2m plus 1 plus mu x, right. Earlier we had minus, so f of x comma mu is equals to x to the power 2m plus 1 plus mu x, here m is again a natural number and we can again derive uh, this bifurcation uh, value and bifurcation point and all that. So, like this uh, we see that um, for one dimensional um, uh, scalar equation based on uh, what type of equation uh, it is given to us we can determine these bifurcation values and uh, first of all equilibrium points and from equilibrium points we can see whether it is uh, stable or unstable or whether it is asymptotically stable and around those points uh, we get our bifurcation value right. So, at least uh, from these uh, two or three examples uh, we got that property, but uh, we want to put it as a, as a nice theorem or as a nice result where if you look at that certain properties are being satisfied by the function itself or uh, um, the, the function on the right hand side, uh, then in that case uh, how or what way we can mention or understand this bifurcation, right. So, this is um, uh, uh, a theorem that uh, I would like uh, to write down, uh, but without proof of course. So, so theorem uh, let f belongs to C2 that means set of all continuously differentiable function defined on a domain R where D subset of R uh, cross R is open. Uh, is open uh, and p uh, 0 equals to x 0 comma mu 0 belonging to d uh, satisfying uh, satisfying um, f p uh, f p equals to uh, f at p 0 equals to 0 and f uh, x at p 0 equals to 0, f at f x at p 0 equals to 0, full stop. Now, uh, let us call this as equation number 1. Now, uh, criteria 1, assume that uh, f of mu at p 0 is non zero. Uh, if there exists at least, uh, if there exist at least at least uh, um, if there exist a, not at least sorry if there exist a least integer k uh, k get rho equal to 2 such that such that um, f belongs to c k d comma r and uh, del del f del k del f by del x k k uh, is not not at p 0 is not equals to 0 right. So, then equation 1 then equation 1 uh, has a saddle node uh, bifurcation has a saddle uh, has a saddle node uh, 
digital sa has a saddle node, uh, saddle node bifurcation, bifurcation um, when k is even. when k is even and has no bifurcation and has no bifurcation when mu is uh, sorry k is odd when k is odd sometimes this pencil starts okay that's the first part so what does it say you have a c2 continuously differentiable function uh, defined on a domain D uh, such that f at p0 and fx at p0 equals to 0, where p0 is um, any arbitrary point in the domain D. Now, part A is if uh, f of mu uh, p0 at p0, if that exists, then there exists at least uh, one integer such that f belongs to this ck, right. And uh, the, uh, basically this type of uh, f belongs to ck and uh, del k f by del x k at p0 is non zero. So, then the equation 1 has a saddle node bifurcation uh, when k is even and has no bifurcation when k is odd that is the uh, first part. Then there is a part b which uh, connects uh, uh, basically our f of uh, mu at p0 equals to 0 uh, such that uh, a at f of y x uh, sorry f of mu mu um, f of mu x then f of x mu f of x x at p 0 equals to f of mu mu minus f of x mu f of mu x um, uh, f of mu mu f of x x minus f of x mu f of uh, f of uh, x mu um, if I break then this is uh, f of mu mu f of x x minus f of x mu f of mu x so that means f of mu mu f of x x minus f of x mu whole square at p 0 right. So, this is what we will get. Now, first property is um, uh, if a is positive then equation 1 has no equilibrium points has no equilibrium points equilibrium points and the second criteria is uh, if a is less than 0 um, then there exist then there exist a least integer again k a least integer k get rho equal to 2 such that f belongs to c k d r and uh, del k f by del x k at p 0 is non 0. Then the bifurcation point is transcritical then the bifurcation bifurcation uh, is transcritical transcritical uh, when k is even and pitch fork when k is odd uh, when k is even and uh, pitch fork when k is odd and pitch fork when k is odd right. So, this is uh, the statement of the theorem um, um, I mean it is relatively long, but basically it uh, tells us that uh, if you have a scalar system given, I mean the statement was very long, so I had to write it out. Um, if you have a system given, then basically you find out the equilibrium points, whatever we just did. And from there, uh, we compute uh, f x uh, at uh, p 0, right. And uh, 
now if uh, f mu at uh, p0 is non zero then there exists at least uh, a least integer k get rho equal to 0 such that f is continuously differentiable up to k times and uh, del k f by del x k at p0 is non zero and uh, then uh, equation 1 has a saddle node bifurcation saddle node bifurcation which we defined earlier um, when uh, k is even uh, and when uh, k is odd then we have no bifurcation if f of mu at p0 equals to 0 such that we get this matrix which is f mu mu f x x minus um, this basically uh, cross multiplication in a way minus of f of x mu whole square at p0 then if uh, a is positive then we have uh, then equation 1 has uh, no equilibrium points and uh, in the neighborhood of uh, mu 0 except at mu 0 uh, and no equilibrium points in the uh, neighborhood of uh, mu 0 uh, except at mu 0 except at mu 0 and if uh, a is less than 0 then there exists a least integer k get rho equal to 2 such that f belongs to c k uh, dr and uh, del k f by del x k at p 0 is non 0 uh, then the bifurcation is transcritical when k is even and pitchfork when k is odd. So, this uh, theorem actually tells us or uh, gives us the bifurcation uh, property of a given scalar equation right. So, we will stop here today and we will continue this uh, discussion in our next class where we um, uh, look into uh, this um, uh, one dimensional uh, planar equation and also Hopf bifurcation. So, thank you for your attention and I will see you in the next class.